All right, so welcome to section three. We're going to start back from this position, and we're going to open our left hand as a palm, and we're going to press towards the side like this. So in the first section, we slide it across the chest, but in this part, we're just going we're going to move it diagonally this way, and then it should be around here. Okay, so this should be this about this distance uh, between your body and your hand. To the left, it should be about this distance between your elbow and your body. Okay. So this should go to about your shoulder, edge of your shoulder here. And once you've got that, move it towards the center and do a diagonal palm, like that. So the area of attack will be the lower edge of your palm and you want to press with this lower part of your palm here. All right, this goes targeted towards the guy's um, chin or jaw. All right, we're going to do Tan Sao and then Hun Sao and Sao Kui. Do the same thing with the right, open up, turn south, then press out towards the diagonally towards your left, bring it back to the middle, and then do a diagonal palm, up towards the jaw level, turn south, bring south, and south kick. Next, we're going to do another turn south with our left, just like in section one. Now from here, we're going to do a gan south, so we're going to just drop it down to this here. Okay, so make sure that this stays on the center line, and you want to drop it down to here. Same thing, we want to have the same distance for your elbow and your body and you don't want to extend your arm completely and lock it up. You want to have a slight bend in your elbow, in your whole arm. Okay, from here we're going to bring it back to Tan So. So make sure that when you're bringing it back to Tan So, it's still on your sternum level and not too high and not too low. Still in the same level of your sternum. From here we're going to do a Hun Sao, 12, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, but once we get to 6 o'clock, we're going to do a sideways palm. Okay, so we're doing a Hun Sao, and once we get our 6 o'clock, get to 6 o'clock, we're going to turn it into a sideways palm, and then push it up. From here, we do Tan Sao again, do a Hun Sao, and Sao Kyu. Now with the right, we're going to do Tan Sao. Okay, drop it down to Kan Sao. Bring it back up to Tan Sao. Do a Hun Sao, and when we get to three, uh, 6 o'clock again, we'll do a sideways palm. So your finger should be pointing to the side. Tan Sao, Hun Sao, Sao Kui. Alright, next is our Bong Sao. So we start out with our left as Tan Sao again, but now we're going to rotate our hand, and then like this. Alright, so from here we're going to rotate our hand like this. So your hand is facing towards, hand, palm is facing towards the outside. So from the top, you make sure that you get your angles right, it's very important, is that you have a 135 degree angle here, and you have another 135 degree angle here, so that this is straight uh, this way, and this is on a 135 degree angle, and this is straight that way. Okay, if you do this, then you lose power, and you lose structure, and if you do this, you have no actual, no frame for defense. So this is the ideal position, if you look from the top. Okay, so from here, you want to do this, and your wrist should be slightly lower than your elbow because imagine you're hanging this from your elbow your hand should actually be relaxed but your finger should be pointing this way and your wrist should be in the center um, like this make sure your shoulder is nice and relaxed also definitely don't want to raise it like that but if you have it properly relaxed your wrist should be slightly lower than your elbow okay if you can't get that because uh, for some reason um, some uh, joint problems then just try to get it as flat as possible this way. Okay, so from here we're going to roll down our elbow like this. So everything else still stays the same, the wrist is in the same position, the shoulder is still relaxed, and that elbow we're just gonna roll it down like this, and now this turns into a high tan song. Okay, from here we're going to do a upside down palm, pole jam. Okay, and it just goes up to the guy's chin. Okay, do a relax and do the tan cell, put him cell and back. Now we're going to do the same thing with the right hand. Okay, so open up the Tan Sao, then rotate it out like this. Okay, so the action is a spiraling action. So from here, rotate out like this. Okay, once again, shoulders are relaxed. You have a 135 degree angle. Hand is relaxed and is suspended from the elbow here. So that the uh, wrist can be slightly lower than the, uh, than the elbow. Your wrist is in the center fingers pointed that way. Okay, roll down your elbow. Now this turns into high tan sao. Upside down palm, pole jam, okay? Do a hin sao, 
and oh, upside down palm, and then do the tan sao, relax, and then hin sao, and then sao ke. The next move is tu sao, or scraping hand. We're scraping hand, so we're going to do our uh, gan sao with our left hand in this position. So make sure your arms are not completely locked, but just like a bent. Okay, and we're going to place our right hand or right edge of our palm on our elbow joint like this. Okay, from here we're going to do compound movement. Right hand is going to scrape on top of your forearm, on top of our left forearm, and rotate like this. The left hand is going to rotate and pull back. So you combine both, it's going to do a scrape and a rotate. So do the same thing with your left hand, scrape with the left hand or on your right forearm, and rotate and pull with your right hand. So do this, same thing again. Okay, from here, we're going to make fists with both hands and do a uh, straight punch with our left. When you do a straight punch with the left, the right one comes right back to our chest in the middle, getting ready for the second punch. Now we're going to replace our left fist with the right. Okay, the left fist will now uh, be ready to punch again yeah, in front of our chest. Remember that our uh, knuckles are always pointing towards our target. So that is not pointing this way, it's pointing towards our target. Okay, and then third punch, again, this time instead of pulling it to the chest, I mean, to, uh, in the middle of the chest, we're going to pull it to the side here. Okay, from here we're going to do Tan Sao, Yun Sao, and Sao Ke. Alright, so the whole, set, whole part here, we're going to do the Gan Sao, so Gan Sao, one, two, three, one, two, three, open, Yun Sao, and Sao Ke. And then all you need to do from here is just left foot back and, uh, and your hands relaxed. Hey, congratulations, you just completed the first form of swing towel. So practice hard and I'll see you in the next video.